All right, welcome back to Getting Sober, dot, 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 again. My name is Jay, and today's topic is, did your sobriety take a detour? Some people call it a slip up, some people call it failure. Then pack their bags and head back to the comfort of everything they've known in alcohol and addiction. Because better the devil you know, right? For us here at Getting Sober, dot, 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 again, we simply call it a detour. It's easy to get distracted and even lost in any journey, including sobriety. But unfortunately, we aren't born with a life map or even an instruction manual. On the eighth day, a boy is supposed to be (laughs) circum. We can agree that there are many tools, books, and suggestions for how to live our lives. But what about for our own unique sobriety journey? Some support groups may be warm and welcoming, and some may make you never want to think about sobriety ever again. But here, in this community, we practice no judgment sobriety because we know that there's no such thing as a perfect journey because life isn't perfect. What happens when we get distracted by our favorite actors, our favorite athletes, our friends, and our family members? What happens when we have breakups, makeups, struggles and celebrations. We get new opportunities to practice sobriety. We get new opportunities to be who we truly are. But chances are you've lost touch with yourself or even worse, you never bother to find out just who you are and what you're really made of. Temptations are everywhere and there's no shortage of reasons not to drink. And if I may let you in on a little secret. The world may not be out to get you, but it certainly doesn't have your individual best interests in mind. On any given day, we have up to 60,000 thoughts. And of those, 80% are negative and 95% of our thoughts are repetitive. And on any given day, we're hit with thousands of advertisements. How many? between four and 10,000 ads a day. Your life habits attract your life's outcome and your attention, just like your life, should be carefully guarded. We must remember that. The quality of the questions we ask directly influence the quality of the life that we get to experience. One big question you should ask yourself right now, write it down, is how will I get from where I am to a better and sober life that I've imagined. This might be the time right now to start putting up detour signs along your life's path. Those paths that lead to temptation and distraction. And with all of your newfound mental clarity, it's your personal duty that every time you get to another fork in the road labeled better or worse, you do everything that you can to choose better. Close off every road that leads to depression, anxiety, and stress. Every road, every door, every filing cabinet, every phone number, and every half empty bottle of liquor that you're still keeping for company. Because you are only as good as the quality of the company that you keep. So why keep the door open for alcohol? Take note of every path that'll detour you from being your best mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and financially, creatively, intellectually, romantically, and professionally. Start looking for the signs of life that are labeled a better version of you up ahead. Another big question to ask is, if you change nothing about your life, and kept on this current course, where would you end up? In studies on people who don't like their jobs, and some of you are treating sobriety that way, when you ask these people what their life trajectory will be like three to five years down the road, the neurological response that registers is the same that if you were asking them about a complete stranger. What's my point? The point is that if you're listening to this message, it's not too late and you still have time. If you get lost, well, let's be honest, when you get lost and find yourself on a detour from your sobriety journey, 
know that. The easiest thing to do once you're lost is stay lost. And remember that alcohol doesn't help you to take aim. It keeps you from setting sail. Stop thinking that you need alcohol to be yourself, to be the funny version of you, the loving version of you, the extroverted or interesting version of you. What if I told you that you could be yourself for free? <laughs> That's right. And you could have been doing it for free this entire time. And so we always say that if you find yourself on a detour, make it a short one. In those moments, stop where you are, look around, assess the damage, ask yourself bigger questions like, where am I? And what are all of the contributing factors that had me end up here? Realign your moral, spiritual, and emotional compass with your true north so that you can avoid finding yourself on a detour, dot, 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 again. And then once you're strong enough, you'll know exactly where to put that detour sign so that you won't revisit that same path of self-sabotage ever again. And in closing, I wanna leave you with three of the many destinations to look forward to along your sobriety journey. Destination number one. In the beginning first few weeks, you should look forward to the feeling of your brain fog lifting and finally starting to feel like you have more energy. Destination number two. The next major milestone comes at about three to six months when you can finally say, my alcohol cravings are gone. And most importantly, number three, at some point you should be able to say that I am living my best life and life has never been better. This is when it's been a while since there's been any personal blemishes on your recorded behaviors and decision making. That you haven't embarrassed yourself professionally or personally. That your relationships with your friends and your family members are better than they've ever been. That you feel like you have more of a grasp on more of the aspects in your life. And you can honestly sit down, enjoy the silence, and think to yourself, you know what? Life is more manageable now. And being me in this lifetime isn't as scary as I thought it was. And I don't need alcohol to be myself anymore. Yeah. Is that worth giving this video a thumbs up? Now don't forget to join us for our two hour sober live stream and live chat hangouts every Friday and Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern. 4 p.m. Pacific right here on YouTube. How do you get a reminder? Turn on your bell notification and set it to all so that you get the alert the second that we go live. And with that, I wanna wish you good luck on your sobriety journey, especially the detours. And I will see you in the next video.